Roam. It's a new tool suite that promises large set of capabilities. Currently, it has linter and formatter, but in the near future, it will add compiler, bundler, and testing as a feature. To add on top of that, it will support these languages. So in short, think Roam as all of your commonly used tools combined in one. Babel, ESLint, Webpack, Prettier, Jest, and more. But now we have come to the best part, and that is Roam is written in Rust, which means that we can expect high performance from it. And that is actually something they claim on their website. There, as we can see that they are stating 25 times the formatting performance when compared to Prettier on 85,000 lines, which is quite amazing and can be really useful, especially in larger code bases. That said, I don't like to blindly believe in numbers, so we will be doing our own benchmark and check the formatting performance. But for now, let's check out our current setup and go from there. Here, as you can see that we have three files, format obfuscated parser, pf, and rf. If I open the first file, we can see that it's pretty large file. This is actually the parser file from the TypeScript compiler and it has around 10,000 lines of code, which is decent for trying out formatters. In addition to that, if I were to scroll into the middle, we can see that the code formatting is messed up and all of the leading white spaces and indentations are gone. Well, I've done this on purpose because I don't think that trying to format an already formatted file makes any sense. That said, this is basically what we have in here. Now, as far as PF and RF file goes, they are just the exact copies of this file. That way, if we mess them up, the obfuscated one will be untouched. Anyways, now let's initialize the node project and begin installing our formatters. To initialize the project, we just use the command npm init-y. It will initialize it with the default values. Next, let's install Prettier. But just before that, you may have already noticed that I have its extension installed. In this case, we will not be using any extensions because I want to measure the command execution times for formatting. So we just install formatters as the usual way. For the Prettier, we use this command and install it as a developer dependency. Once that's done, we can now install ROM. And for that, we use this command and again, we install it as a dev dependency. At this point, we are ready to format our documents. But while doing so, I want to measure how long does it take to complete the formatting. Therefore, we will be using the measure command. It is essentially a PowerShell utility for measuring a given command. Now, let's use it. To do so, we type the measure command in our terminal like this and follow that up by curly braces. Then inside those, we give our command. In this case, let's start off by prettier. So I type npx prettier dash dash write and pf.ts. Once I've executed this command, it will run it and measure its execution time. But before I do that, let me quickly mention this write flag. For both of our tests, I will include the write flag because I also want to include write operation in the measure time. That way it will become more realistic for general use case. Anyways, I run it and wait for it to complete. Once it's completed, we can check the time it took in the output. Now again, we will be doing the same thing. However, this time we will be using ROM as formatter. To do that, we again use the measure command, but this time we will be using the command npx rom format rf.ts. And again, we will be using the write flag, that way our file will be updated. Now, let's run it and fetch our results. At this point, we kinda have an idea about formatting performance, but obviously it is not enough. So what I will do is run each command multiple times and take the average complete times. Therefore, our results will be a bit more accurate. Meanwhile, let's look at how we can lint files using rom. Luckily, it's pretty easy thing to do. All we have to do is use the command mpx rom check rf.ts and there we have it. This is how the output looks. It is pretty understandable in my opinion. Also, if you are wondering why we have so many errors, it is because this file is a part of a huge project. So it requires a bunch of other components and files to work. During the video, I hid those errors by using ts ignore. Obviously, you will rarely do that, but the errors are not important for format demonstration. But again, if I go on top of a file, we see the ts ignore on here. And if I were to delete it, we will see the errors. But besides from that, I should you a ROM linter anyways, so you will have an idea on how its output looks. That said, let's get back to formatting and check our results. Here, I run both of the formatters 10 times. ROM averaged around 1.8 seconds and Prettier averaged around 4.1 seconds. So according to the results, ROM is 2.3 times faster than Prettier, which is far from the 25 times increase mentioned in the ROM's website. However, keep in mind that my test results are pretty inconclusive, because formatting time can depend on a lot of factors, and we just try it on a single use case. And even then, 10 test runs weren't sufficient at all. I did those tests just from the curiosity and hope that some of you guys maybe find it interesting. That said, before I finish this video,
video, there is one more thing that I want to mention, and that is extensions. If you've used Prettier before, you may have already familiar with its VS Code extension. That is generally the way it's used because it simplifies the workflow. We can say this is also the similar case in ROM. As we can see, ROM also has its own official extension in Visual Studio Code. So if you want to try ROM, this might be the way to go. However, if you do so, using in tandem with other formatters like Prettier might be problematic. Therefore, I suggest you to disable one and keep the other one for usage. So keep that in mind as well. In the end, this is ROM formatter and linter in a nutshell. In my opinion, the project has a great potential and it may very well replace our current toolings in the near future, especially if they deliver extra features like compiler, bundler and testing suite. But that is just my opinion and if you want to learn more about the project, you can find its links in the description down below. And as always, I hope you find it somewhat useful. If that is the case, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, take care.